Hiker Bob here out in Weirdland National Park. We've been learning about how I'm never alone! God is always with you! Even my echo knows that God is always with me. God comforts us and gives us hope and peace. Let's open the Bible together and see what it says about how we are never alone because God is with us. Luke chapter 2 verse 11 says, Today in the city of David, a Savior was born for you, who is the Messiah the Lord. This verse is all about Jesus. God sent his only son Jesus to be born on earth to be our Messiah. Our what? what? Our Messiah. Messiah means promised one. You see, God promised his people a long time ago to send them someone who would rescue them from their sins. This promised rescuer is Jesus. And God's promise was for his people way back then and for us right now. And that is something to celebrate. I need all of you to stand up so we can learn this verse together. I'll say part of the verse, then you can repeat after me. Are you ready? I'm ready! I'm ready! I'm ready! Today in the city of David. Today in the city of David. A savior was born for you. A savior was born for you. Who is the Messiah the Lord? Who is the Messiah the Lord? Luke 2.11. Luke 2.11. Luke 2.11. Well done. All right. When we follow Jesus, he becomes our Lord. And we can trust that God will always be with us. Let's try this again. Even louder! Three, two, one. Today, Today in, the in the city of David, David a, a Savior was born for you, who is the Messiah, the, Messiah, the Lord. Lord. Luke 2.11. 2, wow, right. God is always with us. He sent Jesus because he wants to have a relationship with each of us, like a light in the darkness. Jesus gives us a way to follow God. Let's all from Weirdland National Park. I hope to see you again soon. Have you ever had a rough morning? Like, really rough? Your dad woke you up early singing Christmas carols really loud? Your little brother drew marker on your favorite Christmas sweater? Or you run out of marshmallows for your hot chocolate? My whole morning was just, ugh, awful. What am I supposed to do? How should we react when we feel that way? You know, which way? Aunt Kelsey, have you ever just felt, ugh, like everything around you is going wrong and you just feel frustrated? <laughs> well, yeah. Sometimes we all feel that way and sometimes we don't even know why. We all have those moments of, Oh, but what do I do? What do any of us do? How do I respond to those moments? Well, those moments can be hard, but remember, we don't have to do these ugh moments alone because we are never alone. God is there to comfort us, even when we feel frustrated. Comfort? Like my cozy, comfy Christmas jammies? Even better than the coziest <laughs> jammies. I want to show you this story in the Bible. God cares about us and we can trust him knowing that he is always with us. The Bible is God's true message to us about himself. I want to show you this story about Mary and Joseph, two people who learned that they weren't alone. Angels visited Mary and Joseph. God sent an angel named Gabriel to the town of Nazareth. The angel went to visit a young woman named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph. Before they were married, God sent an angel named Gabriel to bring her some incredible news. The angel said to Mary, Rejoice, you have found favor with God. He is with you. Mary was very afraid and puzzled. Don't be afraid, Mary, Gabriel said. God has chosen you to have a son and you will call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. He will be a great king who reigns forever. Mary asked Gabriel, How can this happen? The angel told Mary, Nothing will be impossible with God. Then Gabriel had another surprise for Mary. He told her that her relative Elizabeth would have a baby too, even though Elizabeth was old. Gabriel reminded Mary that nothing is impossible with God. Mary knew that God is a great God. She said, I am the Lord's servant. 
let it be as you say. Then the angel left her. Talk about a rough day. <laughs> I can't even imagine how scared I would be if an angel gave me this news. Right? Did you notice what the angel said? He told Mary not to be afraid and reminded her that nothing is impossible with God. Mary must have trusted God a lot. She did, and she would have to continue trusting God. Read this next part to see what happened. Mary hurried to Elizabeth's house. When she arrived, the baby inside Elizabeth leapt for joy. Mary praised God with a song about how great he is. God was keeping his promise to bless the whole world through Jesus. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for three months, then she went home. When Joseph discovered that Mary would have a baby, he decided to quietly divorce her. After Joseph made these plans, God sent an angel with a message for him. This time, the angel delivered the message in a dream. As Joseph slept, he heard the angel say, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The baby boy is God's son. You will name the baby Jesus because he will save people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did exactly what the angel said. Joseph married Mary. Later, when the time came for Mary to have her baby, Joseph named him Jesus. Wow, so God comforted Mary and Joseph during this crazy time in their life? They trusted him when they had no control over what was going on. Not being in control isn't easy. It's even harder to trust God's control over my life. I think Mary and Joseph would agree with you, but they trusted that God is always in control and that was comforting to them. God comforts us too. So when my dad wakes me up early, my favorite Christmas sweater is ruined or something happens I didn't plan and everything feels, ugh, I can remember that God is with me and that is comforting. <gasps> my hot chocolate! It's gonna be all warm in the mug, but no marshmallows to float in it. Well, good news. Aunt Kelsey to the rescue. <laughs> you did make enough for both of us, right? Mm -hmm.